I think the most important plant that we present all year on QVC. 7,500 sets have already been ordered in this show. This is the butterfly bouquet, and here's what's so amazing about it. Now that's a swallowtail butterfly, but monarch butterflies only eat one type of plant. They don't eat anything else. They, the caterpillars eat the Asclepius plant, and then the monarch females lay their eggs on the Asclepius plant no other plant. The problem is Asclepius plants, known as milkweed, are not nearly, there's just not nearly as much in supply as they used to be. So our monarch population, there are the caterpillars that you're going to see on your plants this summer, our monarch um, populations have really taken a hit. So this is something that you can do, not just for yourself because the plants are beautiful, but you can do this knowing you're helping the monarch butterfly. And I have to tell you, my children and I, my husband, we love seeing the monarch butterflies last year and the eggs and the caterpillars in our yard. Stephanie, the yes. problem traditionally with growing Asclepius or milkweed is you knew you were doing something nice for the monarchs, but the plants themselves, eh, they weren't the best. You're giving exactly. us Asclepius that the monarchs will love, but will love too. It's the better Asclepius. It's beautiful in our yard. It truly is. You know, I'm super excited about this collection because it's, an, it's a six piece collection. So it's quite a few plants and you're getting two of each color. You're getting a gorgeous, orange, a pink, and then a very special white. But like you were saying, Sandra, um, I think if there's one plant that anybody should grow this summer, it is this Asclepius collection because um, it is truly the only home to the monarch butterfly. And what I mean by that is the monarch butterflies are going to, well, I should say the caterpillars are going to go and they're going to eat the leaves and then they're going to create their chrysalis on these plants and then emerge That's what they look into like. the- Yes, exactly. So, so you're going to see those. And if you see adorable. them, leave them alone. That's the whole yes, reason we're buying you. these plants is exactly. to feed those caterpillars. Exactly right. So when you see those caterpillars, you know you're doing a good thing. And eventually those will turn into the monarch butterfly, which is so important right now, Sandra, because in just the last two decades, the monarch butterfly population has decreased by 80%. And that is a lot, you know, just like you were saying, there's not as much um, native or wild milkweed out there anymore because of our agricultural system. So by planting this, you are literally doing your share and your part in helping rebuild that monarch yeah. butterfly population. Milkweed used to grow everywhere. I mean, as even as a kid, yeah. my mom grew up in a rural area. I did as well. You know, you'd see milkweed in farmers' feeds all, uh, uh, fields all the time. But mm -hmm. as we've gotten better with weed control, we've really actually taken away the food source for the monarch butterfly. So here's a beautiful right. milkweed Asclepius that you can grow in your garden. And not only does it look really beautiful, but I grew it last year and I was saying that it was so amazing because we had the caterpillars, we had the eggs, we we grew, we took some of the sleepiest and butterflies indoors in a special butterfly thing, and we watched them turn into, uh, you know, go into the chrysalis and then come out, and then we released That's them. So it was great. one of the best things we did in 2020. However. That's Halfway awesome. through this wonderful little project, I realized I didn't have enough Asclepius. And mm. my monarch caterpillars were going through at a pretty fast rate. I'm so happy you all are getting six because you know what happened to yes. me? I ran down, this is a true story, I ran down to a local nursery. I spent mm -hmm. like $10, $11, like probably 12 with, wow. with tax and stuff on one plant. I don't even like the plant. It's not this <laughs> hybrid kind. So right. here's what I want you to know. I spent $10, $11 on one plant to feed these caterpillars. You're getting six of them. They end up being mm -hmm. $3.63 a piece and they will come back year after year after year. And if you want them on auto delivery, we can send another six out to you next year because next year you might want even more. Absolutely. Because Stephanie, mm -hmm. your uncle Court, he said that he plants these where he can enjoy the flowers, but he'll plant them throughout the property to help those totally. monarchs, right? Yeah, you know, if you can, I would recommend buying two or three collections, maybe even doing a bill to ship to, you know, to a family member who have small children like your nieces and nephews, um, because you're going to want to plant these up front and center where you can enjoy the flowers and then also watch the monarch butterflies play around. But then plant a collection or two in the back of your in the back of your um, your yard and just let them go wild and enjoy and be able to, you know, truly be at home because this yeah. is the only plant that the monarch butterfly caterpillars will eat the leaves and then lay the eggs and then turn into those butterflies. So here's what's so cool. If I do this in, in um, Pennsylvania and you do it maybe in Maryland or someone else does it, you know, in I'm doing in Virginia, it in San Diego. You're doing it in San Diego. 
mm -hmm. will be able to feed those monarchs as they yes. migrate from where the United States down to Mexico and back exactly. again. They need spots along the way to lay their eggs, a safe place for the caterpillars to eat. They only can do that on Asclepius. And if there's no Asclepius, there is no monarch butterfly. It's as simple as that. Okay, yes. I do wanna let you know, Stephanie, I'm really happy that everybody's picking this up. I think it's the most important so plant that we present on QVC. We're slammed on the phone lines, which means a lot of people care about monarch butterflies. Um, Thank you I would all. say go to QVC.com or use your apps to order quickly. But please, if you're going to wait on the lines, wait on the lines. We're, we'll take care of you. This is an important collection. And it's really pretty. You get two pink, two orange, two white. I didn't even know we could get the white. That's new, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the white is the ice ballet white, which I actually, it's my favorite. It's so revered and so, you know, you don't see it very often. But, you know, Sandra, like you were saying, this is a hybridized Asclepia, so it's going to be a feast for your eyes and for your senses to enjoy those flowers. But it will be a true feast for the bellies of the monarch butterfly caterpillars so they can munch on these leaves, lay those eggs, and then, you know, also turn into the chrysalis and then yeah. emerge into those gorgeous butterflies. The only thing I would say is if you walk out one day and you see a leaf, that looks like this, and yep. you see a monarch caterpillar, be glad you're doing yes. your job. It is the one set of plants that I say, it's okay if the monarchs eat them all. And you're getting actually six plants, so there's gonna be enough for you too. About 9,000 mm -hmm. sets have now been ordered. Stephanie, tell me about this warranty, because I you will. are gonna set us up for success, which sets the monarchs yes. up for success.